All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the overall look and the overall feel of the website. And what I'm gonna do is go to Wootique theme options. And a theme is kind of the, the skin or the kind of the, the overlay of the website to give it the look that it is. So if we just went to general settings, it automatically comes up custom logo. Um, and I upload, you can just upload whatever logo you want. And I did the iHeartBets and it places it right there. Or if you want, I could take out the high art bets and just use text title and it would just automatically put in I heart bets in text because that's the, the title of the web page. Favicon, which is this uh, 16 by 16 ICO image, and that's what this little heart that shows up here, and you can upload whatever you want. Tracking code, I'm not going to paste it here because it's pasted somewhere else, so I'm not going to change that here. This is all about subscription if you had a blog. Here's the the email address for the contact form. So if you go to our page, the contact page, that's where this email is sent to. It's sent to this, so if you wanted to change that. This is custom stuff, all this is custom stuff you really wouldn't have to mess, in, mess with. You can always uh, make sure you hit save changes. Home page. So what this is on your home page, which is here, what I'm telling you is to display my latest post on the home page above the slider. Now this is the slider which is the featured products which we haven't featured any because we only have so many products. But um, since we've checkmarked that up above it we're saying our last post is right here in which it showed up and so I could take that off if I wanted to. This is talking about the featured products. You could do a slider or a static. So this is like static, so just line them across here. Or you could have them where they just slide across if you had featured products that you wanted to do. And then this says how many featured products, and you could just select all that. Remember to hit Save Changes. Here's your styling options. If you want to change the color of the background, the, op the opacity of your menu, your footer and menu, all of this. Um, your shadow, background image, you want it to repeat, move, the colors of your links, the color of it, of a link when you hover over it, um, all those sorts of things you can change. So see this is blue and when I hover over it, it's still blue but underlined. You can, you can change all that uh, right here. Make sure you hit save. Your typography, just <clears throat> if you want to change the fonts, you know, here it says navigation font, general fonts. If you want to change the fonts, just click this and then Go to town on what you want to do. Layouts. This is your main layout, which is the contents on your the main contents on the left and the footers on the right. Which main content on the left, the footer on the right. And you can change that to the other way around. Um, dynamic images, you don't have to mess with this. Footers. Currently, I've got three wid widget footers, one, two, and three. So you could change that if you want. One big one, two, three, four, that sort of thing. You just change that here. And then in another tutorial I'll, I'll show you how you can do the footers. The custom, uh, this is just if you're sending somebody to Woo Themes. We're not doing that and then we don't use this. And then the subscribe and connect is if you had like a, a blog um, that you wanted them to subscribe to and so we don't we don't use any of these. So we'll just hit save changes. But that's how to change your overall feel and look of the website.